This is the Grand Palais in Paris. The date is October 1905. Come closer to its glass barrel vaulted roof and see the crowd inside. They are there for the opening of the third edition of the Salon d'Automne, a major art exhibition where pieces by numerous artists are on display. For the occasion, the French president at the time, Emile Loubet, is set to make an appearance, but President Loubet never comes. Why not? Come closer. Here in exhibit room number seven, scandal is in the air. Inside are artworks by young painters, Matisse, Durand, and Vlaminck. Their works are considerably striking. Over the days where artists painstakingly seek to imitate nature, the new generation cover their canvases with large splashes of vibrant color. Criticism is vitriolic. Some speak of mindless creations and shapeless splotches of color. Journalist and critic Louis Vaucel mused over the presence of a small, more traditional angelic sculpture in the middle of the room. Donatello among wild beasts, he wrote, referring to the Renaissance sculptor. No sooner said the name stuck. Room 7 is now known as the Cage of Wild Beasts, or Fauve in French, and thus Fauvism is born. A cage of wild beasts that President Loubet carefully avoided, keeping scandal at arm's length, staying safe inside the presidential palace.